Okay, you cannot come to Northern Michigan without visiting a vineyard. A vineyard! There's so many beautiful vineyards up here, and we're super excited to join our friends, yes, in their truck at Baya Estate. <laughs> Hi, we got Hello, Kyle ladies. and Chet with us. Can Hi. we catch our ride with you, you guys? want to hitch a ride and go check out the vineyard? Heck yeah, we do. Hop oh on. my gosh. Whoa, this is so we cool. did that like synchronized. Twinning! Okay, Kyle, let's go see this vineyard. What do, what do we got here? Well, this is a uh, Syrah. We use this um, in our rosé, which is 100% Syrah. These grapes have been in the ground for about, what, five years now? Five years. Wow, um, really? Well, uh, the 45th parallel cuts right through here, and so it, it cuts through Champagne, France as well, so it is a really good climate for certain varietals. I think the big mistake Michigan made 30 or 40 years ago is people tried to do everything. You right. can't do everything in Michigan. You right. can do Northern European style wines really, really well. Because they can handle the that cold, sort of the winter. The winter. The yeah, winter. They can handle the winter. What about all the lakes <laughs> around oh, yeah. here? Yeah. Well, so that we're on the Leelanau Peninsula, so it's a microclimate. We, we're surrounded surrounded by this water mass, and you know, uh, June June first, it was 55 degrees. The water mass. Wow. So it's like it, it creates some good and some bad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the summer lasts longer because the lakes heat it up. The spring. The spring is really cold because it likes 50 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. Because it takes forever for a spring to get here in Michigan. Yeah. So that's interesting. I mean, that's something that we loved. We were at the goat farm, you know, a few days ago, and just how much the lakes affect everything that's growing up here, mm -hmm. and just how the quality of things are so much better mm -hmm. because of that, right? You know, there's this freshness and pureness to yep. it that I love, even the bugs. <laughs> um, <laughs> one vineyard to the next. We are now here at Rove Estate. Super excited to be here. Welcome so to beautiful. Rove. Thank you guys, thank you. Yes. It looks great out there. If you feel like staying for a few hours, we have one of the best sunsets that you will see in all of Northern Michigan. I feel like you get me. Yes, I get we you. will stay for a few hours okay. to drink and watch the sunset. Hey. Absolutely. If you like the wine, I mean, you might want to stay. Well, the only way you will know if we like the wine is if we try it. Should we go taste some? We've got you set Absolutely. up outside. Absolutely. Right, so I was hoping you would say, all right, we'll let's follow you guys. Follow Show us. us where we're going. Guys, this is, this is ridiculous. I mean, what what's better than pairing with cheese? Please tell me that's Idle Farm cheese. Absolutely. Idle, Idle yes. Farm Only cheese. How do you know? I love I know. with that cheese. It's love my it. favorite. <laughs> Idle Farm cheese, we've got our wine, and we have this beautiful vineyard behind us. Yeah, we do. You guys are killing it. We, we also passed the sign on the way out here that said you guys are halfway between uh, well, the equator and North Pole. Oh, yes, yep. 45th parallel. The two of us were like, we're almost to Christmas. Like, we were, we actually got <laughs> we out. Stopped. Yeah, we stopped. We ran. We got a picture with the sign. We're like, this gotcha. is amazing. Um, it's magical here. Magical. magical. I think that must be why, because you're closer to Santa. Than anybody else. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't hurt our chances, it I feel like. Hurt. It definitely doesn't hurt. I oh, pass it. I see you looking okay, at the so Gewurz <laughs> What's that? Say it again, I'll try. Gewurz Straminer. You got it! See, I'm you got better. it! Your, your <laughs> accent's getting better. We went to Idle Farms, tasted all the goats. Tasted, tasted all the goats? <laughs> they let you just lick them? <laughs> okay, they did pee on us, so yes. oh I feel gosh. like I can say we tasted them. We I mean, we got them. super close to the goats. There was a whole goat rodeo. Sometimes you get too close. Yeah, man, you know? sometimes yeah. you get too close. They all ran away. It was like kind of our fault. We had to herd them back in. Mm -hmm. It was intense. Um, but it was the first time I really had goat cheese with rosé. Yeah. Because usually when I drink rosé, it's more of, I think, more like Italian cheeses, um, sure. French, harder cheeses. And the goat cheese, that yeah. soft cheese with rosé, 
It's just magical. It's beautiful. It and it's nice up here. A lot of people want to eat local. So yes. local Pinot Noir, yeah. Rosé grown right out here. Um, and then the Idle Pastures cheese is by far the most popular goat's cheese, mm. especially in Leelanau County Grand Chat. I was, I was wondering, are you... It looks like you're losing the race right now. I cannot. I will never win the race when it comes to drinking wine. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 no. When it comes to drinking wine or eating food. Yes, I got that, it. You got it. But, in yeah. the bag. guys, when it comes to stopping fucks, that I eat. Really? Do you guys know? Okay. I know my mom played in the NHL. This is what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> wow. So she's the only woman ever playing in the NHL. Wow. She's the only woman to ever play a game in any of the four major professional sports. And so we are filming a movie about her, uh -huh. and I'm playing Manon in the film. And so obviously we can't do anything right now because of COVID. So we're like, let's just make some videos. Like, let's just have some this fun. Is so let's and so this is what this. we're doing. I am Quebec? just blown away yeah. right now. Quebec, where was yeah. this? I'm from Quebec. Yes. Is that where you were playing? No, no, it, I went to Tampa Bay, the <laughs> training camp in Tampa Bay. Oh yeah. yeah, no, guys, it's it legit. was in '92. You guys are so young. In '92, we I was yeah. one years old. Yeah, man. Exactly. I was so also one years old. Really, I love That's that. Telling me this, <laughs> that makes me feel old. Martin. Now. On termine notre voyage au nord du Michigan, au vignard de Bluestone, avec nos amis Tom et Amy, et Angie, of course. I don't know what she said, but I heard my name, I heard Tom's name, and I heard Amy's name. We are here, Bluestone, I Blue heard that too. God, that. We're here at Bluestone Vineyard, the last stop on our epic journey. And oh my goodness, look how gorgeous it is. How, how do you say that in French? C'est très beau. <laughs> I mean, look at this. But it looks like the sky might open up on us. So, Tom, I see you have this gorgeous tasting room. Can we go in? There's wine inside. There's wine oh, inside. Wine. That's all I need to know in any language. There's wine inside. What we enjoy is the magic that happens when you connect great wine with great conversation and great food. You're just talking Angie's language right now. <laughs> she is so excited. I'm pretty certain I just gave Tom all the right buzzwords to say. You just included magic, wine, conversation, and friends, food. all of and food. I love that, Tom. And I don't know if you know this or not, but Leelanau Peninsula was rated by the Wall Street Journal as one of the top 10 emerging wine regions in the world. Wow. Um, I did not know this. And, and part of the what? reason, and we would, but we would not even be a viable wine region if it wasn't for the big body of water that sits to our west. That's crazy. You know, we are totally dependent on Lake Michigan. The latitude, which okay. is the white wine, we we believe we call it latitude because we think it really expresses the what we, we're right here we're on the 45th 40 parallel. Okay. The 45th. We're obsessed with this 45th. Well, the 45th yeah. parallel is about 100 feet behind you. Wow. So our our vineyard sits right, right on the 45th parallel. Wow. And and if you follow the 45th parallel around the world, you'll find the grapes that are in this wine. I thought you were going to say if you follow, you were going to find Santa. And I was like, okay, we're on it. And I thought that's where that was. Going. I, and I think the like byline through all of this is tasting the land. Right? Yes. Like that yeah, is, exactly. you're tasting the terroir, right? Mm -hmm. Like that tasting is. Tasting the land of delight. The, <laughs> folks, we're going to end with that. You are tasting the land of delight. So travel up to the Pinky of Michigan and just. Taste the light. I mean, all of these are amazing, but Amy, we came here specifically for one reason, and I see it right there. Tell us <laughs> about right. this. Okay, yeah, so the, here's our Idol Puck, and it won a best in class wow. at ACS last year. So um, this is our newest branding, um, and we, you can see, we did the goat logo, which I was wondering what yeah, it means. Yeah, 
I saw that all day and I, I kept know. being like, in my head I'm trying to figure out. Tell us, what is it? So it's greatest of all time. So, Minot is the greatest of all time. So true! <laughs> Female hockey player, okay, right? Greatest of so all time this all kind of ties in oh, here. Oh, I love it. I also love this presentation with the hockey pucks, with the Stanley Cup. Amy, you are a woman after our own hearts. We love it. And you also are feeding us, so we love you even more. All right, Let's go you for the hockey, hockey puck. Hey, folks, this is what it's all about. We drove five hours up here for this. I'm just biting right into this. Go ahead. I'm just yes, doing it. Yeah, you don't need to pair it with anything. You can eat it by itself. Oh my gosh, it's so good, Amy. Thank you. Yeah. We really aim to be one of the best goat cheeses in the world. That's why to we're To be the greatest there. of all time. <laughs> exactly. So in my so, eyes, you've done it. Thank you. So far, we've won 25 American Cheese Society Awards, seven World Championship Cheese Awards, and five U.S. Championship Cheese wow. Awards, what? and a 2020 Good Food Award this year. So hey, that's, wait, that's time amazing. out. Come on, we have to cheers that. That Thank is you. really... Food. I think every hockey player should eat one of these before each game. I wonder <laughs> if I eat this hockey puck before we start filming every day. Stop every will time. I be a better hockey player? You yes. have to try it. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to definitely try it. Amazing. This is awesome. talking and I was just shoving food in my face <laughs> and I was like maybe I shouldn't be eating while she's talking and I was like nah I'm just gonna keep eating there's not a wine I met that I don't I never like. like I didn't really like it <laughs> oh my god have more I'm still need twice yeah. And I try some of the mixed nuts as well. I'll pistachio, get a pistachio or an almond in there. Ooh, yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna grab all the nuts. Just all right. <laughs> That's... <laughs> my husband's definitely gonna be like, that was inappropriate to say on camera, Angie. Okay, let's cut there. <laughs>